Mm. That's awesome, man. Thanks so much for teeing that up because it, it makes such a difference on my end when I'm putting the podcast, podcast yeah, together. Yeah, because I have a mic like that as well. Yeah. But I just need to set it up and that take a little bit more time. So um, yeah. we do that but, another time. Yeah, perfect, man. No, the, the lab how's, mic sounds how, great. How's my color? How, how's the... Our complexion looks fantastic, bro. Natural. Just look great. <laughs> the thing I'll Sexy. get you... The thing, is it possible for you to sit your lap... Is it your laptop just on your knees? Yeah, bro. You see it above, yeah? Is it at all possible to get your laptop on something steady so that it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't wobble? Of course, man. Anything is possible. Okay. I love that. This is so good. This is kind of like one of your vlog posts. I'm just like watching it in real time. <laughs> it's great. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, is is is? Do you sort of do you watch the whole video of the one that I I I um I, I created? I saw uh, recently. Yeah, I saw the. No, I didn't watch the whole Instagram video, but I started. I watched about four minutes of it, and I was just super touched. And then I just found you on YouTube, and I was just been watching a few of your vlogs. Oh, like um, just one take or just... Yeah, the one the... take ones. I love that. Yeah, man. oh, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. It, it's just so much... Um, like, as you know, when you're putting a vlog together, the editing t takes so much time, <laughs> as you know. Dude. It, it's so <laughs> it's satisfying to just put put a, a one take up, you know? Yeah, I know, I know, because it's... In, oh, you know what? The guy's left, so I can do it inside. Let's do it inside and perfect. Because... Okay. We'll stay in someone's house and it's not windy so you're on the where are you are you on the look like you're in wellington or something i'm in auckland oh you're in auckland cool um perfect sorry man no, um, you're good man you're good this is super you had no time to prepare for this so it's super last no, no. minute so no worries man uh, usually so people have a week or two to prepare and just mentally kind of you plan the steps needed to <laughs> big do you had about, like for me man. yeah you had about 45 minutes so no sweat bro oh dude i could have get ready just then but i just had a phone call with someone as well Hi. um which is oh shit. um but yeah dude dude, dude it's interesting you say about the vlog thing um yeah. if you watch my very first two video i mean maybe for the first video it was a lot of editing yeah. um have you seen the one that like, what have I learned since I got deported or like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. Yeah. So like, those are a lot of editing, but to be yeah. honest, man, those are fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... But like, but like at the end of the day, man, one content will not be 20 content that are kind of quality because like no one's asking for perfect. Yeah. It's just all in your head. I'm not yeah. chasing for perfect. I'm just chasing for, um, I'm not really chasing. Oh, I, I am, you could say, but um, it's about quantity. Amy. Yeah. Yeah. It's about quantity of quality of content. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we can talk about that in a set, but it's just like, um, yeah, it's so easy for me to create content because I'm not looking for perfect. I just like, hey, I want for a walk. I don't, I, I need to do this yeah. because I know that with my story, yeah. one person out there, maybe would we'll take away from it yeah um and always blow me away you just use four minutes of your time and watch my content yeah you know like i'm like wow that's amazing so <laughs> yeah. um yeah people love can it can you man. hear me yeah i can hear you great yeah. bro it's such a good little mic you've got we just better put your um yeah put your screen down a little bit so i can see your handsome face yeah. that's a good spot where you are fyi no, i've got a chair mate you got a chair mate Mate, <laughs> Jesus, start the freaking sounds like New Zealand and whatever. Yeah, man. Australia. Australia. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take off. Wait. What about this one? Like that? Oh, that Bomb. is. Don't, bro, that is outstanding. Did you I, just I'll put look, like a book underneath it or something? It looks damn no, nice. No, I put a. I put a. Um, just a torta chair. Oh, nice, bro. Yeah, man, that's great. You look epic. Now, you, before yep. we even get close to pushing record, bro, would you just be able to do a couple of things for me? Would you be able to Please. turn off the notifications? Oh, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Can't hear you. Wait. 
Can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, can you hear me now? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, because like I put my headphones in, so I need to hear. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to like, I don't know how long this podcast is going to be, but um, oh. point is now. I just, I just want to. For it to be right. Yeah. No, 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 no. I just took my pants off because it's so uncomfortable, <laughs> and I want to put some. <laughs> no, I'm not naked. <laughs> I don't usually wear jeans. You know, I usually yeah. wear like, um, because I was going for a walk and I was going to go this this hotel and like a five-star hotel and play some piano and relax my mind and i didn't oh, want nice. to wear like hem clothes so they'd be like yeah get out of here you're, you're happy you're scrounging happy get out of here yeah, so you can yeah. put on some oh, pair they, of jeans they, they know me but it's just like yeah um yeah that's why i'm like but now you're at home on. and you can wear some happy pants podcast <laughs> pants i wish okay Can hear you. Okay. Oh, because I'm not talking. Can you hear me now? I'd like to sit and cross like that. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely this is definitely the most flamboyant uh, setup <laughs> of a podcast we've done. I like it. You know, particular and flamboyant. It's, it's... like raw and stuff. I'm just flamboyant. Turn... I just need to test my uh, audio now because I'm a little bit hot. I think that's better. I one, two, you. one, two. Cool, we're good. Oh, got some reverb on that shit. On my one? It sounds like there's... Oh, oh no, it's, it's not just, bad. Yeah, no, I won't be talking that loud. It's um, it's just this, It's not a great acoustic room that I'm in. I've put a little bit of treatment in, but it's just a square boxy room. So it's... Yeah. yeah oh, it's dude, like, it's crazy we're talking, man. Because, yeah. like, I have, I have captured some... Like, I've got two pieces of content that I captured off you at the um, Queenstown, mm-hmm. but all my stuff was stolen. Uh, um, yeah. Except, yeah, it, it, like, cause I captured um, a video of you singing when people are around you. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, anyway. I heard that your stuff got stolen. It was crazy. I want to ask that you was, about that. That was, and, that was a think, blessing. Yeah, yeah. At, at, like, once the, I imagine, once the immediate shock of it, kind of wanes and then you start getting into like okay what do i need to do here then it starts turning into a blessing right mm, mm, 100%. Um, so before we even start talking and and connecting bro a couple of th- practical things would you be able to please turn off the notifications on your phone and on your laptop or just turn them already off have and, oh damn you're on top. already have mate let me double check for you again mate thank you mate I like oh, it's, it's just a ha- it's just a habit i've done because i've always kind of have meeting with people so yeah, and I'm cool. like, boom. And turn the notifications off, is off your laptop. Mm, I don't get notification on my laptop. Okay, that's cool. I just want to avoid bings and bongs and stuff. And have you got about an hour, bro? You got yeah, about bro. An hour up your sleeve. Cool. And is there anything in particular that you don't want mentioned at all? <clears throat> like nothing. My penis. Nothing. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We won't go there. No, uh, I don't mind if you're going there, bro. We, this is a set, this is kind of like a, it's a, it, it is an R18 podcast, but it's not like, What's R18? Oh, like rest, it's restricted 18. So like generally people above the age of 18 will listen, but it's a pod, it's like semi filtered. So we got like, we're not going to be saying C bombs and heaps of F bombs. The odd F bombs <laughs> it is okay, but just, just FYI, cause some, some teens and kids do listen to it. So. Oh, that's that's just something practical too. And uh, I'm just going to get all this stuff out of the way because then we can dive into it. Um, when I introduce you at the start, I introduce you. And then at the end, I, I wrap it quite quickly. I'll just say like, thanks. So, like we're out of time. Thanks so much for your time, bro. We'll chat soon. Something like that. Um, I'm not going to, it doesn't take draw out too long. Otherwise, goodbyes can end up taking 10 minutes or whatever, but don't hang up after the call. We'll chat afterwards as well. Yeah, of course. course. And and keep it recording after the phone call. Yeah, just to catch that good stuff. I like it. (laughs) Um, Bombs. That's 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 all the practical stuff, anyway, bro. Is there anything in particular that you're just like super jazzed on at the moment, bro, or like super excited about, or? um... 
Um, Super alive in you at the moment? Do uh, is you could say one of my what I'm, my mission at the moment because I've been working for myself for like two to three years now, like a freelancing. Mm -hmm. And um, the big transition is like that. That was the story when you asked me later. That like, you know, when I got my stuff stolen, was I realized I'm trying to do everything by myself. Yeah. And second is like, is nothing wrong with it, but you know, at the I knew I was doing it all by myself because part of it was fear. Right. And at the end of the day, can you really do everything by yourself? Mm. And if you can, is it really rewarding? Um, yeah. Second thing I learned was that. I knew it was too easy. It was, wasn't my potential. The, the, I, I can never really reach my potential, but it's, that, it's just like, oh, there's something more. But to tell you my mission now is um, I want to create an environment where people feel inspired, support, and love. Because mm. when you go to work, you know, like you spend 70% of your time there. And if you feel like shit, you bring that back to your family. Mm. I know a lot of people might, something you could say, some insecurity was like, you know, people talk about this, but I don't want to just create it. I want people that work with me. It's, it's not working for me, but they also make money. Mm. You know, I don't, I don't want, because I, I, I start to get a bigger job. Yeah. And, um, you know, when I go to bigger companies, sometimes people just, they're doing an amazing job, but they get paid like $20 an hour or $30 an hour. You know, I was walking before and I was thinking, why are a lot of people starting to want to work for themselves? I was one of them. And then mm. like, cause here's the thing that when you work for yourself, you're the master and the slave, mm. you know, like, mm. and I just, I was like, why does people want to work for themselves? Like, I knew I was, I was trying to make logical sense. And I realized there's two things. First, um, they're just not getting treated right. They're not being valued. Mm. And, um, and money can they do with it? You know, like if you want good people, you know, pay them more. Invest your time and energy with them. You can always make more money, right? Mm. And um, if those people um, having such a value, they're going to help not just you grow, but you could say you could label as company to grow as well. The second thing I realized is a lot of people want to work for themselves because either the company or not just company or the community, they don't have like a right target. They don't know where they're hitting. They're just doing it because they have to, not because they want to. Yeah. Or they just want to like stay small. Like when I say stay small, it's like, you know, we, we're good. And because like part of nature, you know, if you look at tree, they're either growing or dead. Mm. So like, you know, you, you got to grow, you know, if you, you got, you got to get not just you excited, but your team excited. Mm. Hey, we, we're going to do this. We're not just, we're not going to just do one workshop a year. Let's do one workshop every month. Mm. Hey, why don't we expand, have a hundred people so we can do a workshop once a week. Cause if something is worth doing one time, mm. it's worth doing every day. Yeah. And, um, and if you want to do a workshop every day and to be like sustainable, you can't do it by yourself. Yeah. And, um, and that's why my mission now is really want to create a culture, an environment, where people can feel inspired, feel support, feel love, and um, also creating wealth. And this is not just about, I also want to be an example because I start to go to this big company. I want to be like, you having people quick on you because you don't want to grow and because you pay them $20 an hour. You know, like life is not about getting by. If you want good people, invest your time and money in them so they won't fucking leave. You know what I mean? Like just pay them. You know, sometimes money is good. And they're like, dude, I used to hate money, but I realized that um, I just hate that I don't have any. It's, yeah. not, the, it's not the money that I hate. And I, I, I don't know if it's not the podcast, but I ended up just giving you a whole speech about my, my mission. Yeah. Does that make any sense? Did I tell you no, the story yeah, of my- It makes total sense, man. It just gives me a bit of a gauge of where you're at and just like, um, and now I'm super curious because I, you know, <laughs> Tyler and I joke a little bit, you know, Tyler and my girlfriend, you've chatted with her a few times. Yeah. We, um, we joke a few times because you were such a special individual at yep. Biophilia when we both met you just like coming in at that kind of precise moment and just dropping a little wisdom bomb. And Did I like with this? Huh? Kick, kick, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, you won't re I feel it like, because we joke about it because it was just like you were this little angel that just pop in and just kind of deliver that right message at the right time. And, and we both had a really like, I don't want to say profound, but just a really like, whoa moment. Like this person really sees me in this moment. 
and we joke we joke about it in the best way possible when like someone's either her and I give each other that little angel wisdom moment and we call it like the Cadby the Cadby Kong moment where mm. we're just kind of that little guardian angel in that time of not the time of need but just you know often when someone's doing something they're expressing themselves or they're witnessed expressing themselves but they don't know they're being observed and someone like yourself that come come over and acknowledge them it's such a powerful thing to do because mm. that person is, is probably just been outside of their comfort zone in some way or like in their purpose in their truth and to be seen in it to be witnessed in it is super powerful so um wow i appreciate yeah. that yeah, yeah, what yeah. did i what did i say i'm just you curious said, you said to me uh it was, was this the first like, time that we interact yeah was it like this, the this first was at, yeah this was at the concert that uh or the biophilia gig and what did when I, say? I played um I think I'd seen you around a little bit, but you came up and said something along the lines of like, Oh, you yes. Are, you, are, you have a very special gift and you just like, keep going. You're, you're doing what you need to be doing. Just keep going. That's oh, what I took okay. from it anyway. You know? Yeah. Oh, Cause it, I, I knew maybe that's the wrong question. I'm just trying to remember. It's, it's not that what I said is important, but I'm just yeah. trying to remember where was the first time that we met. Yeah. And I, yes, I remember like I went up, went up to you and say like, no, I didn't say, uh, uh, no, I said something, but I just, I knew I was like, after you play and I, I say something to you. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I, I remember like I say something like, you know, thanks for not give, I, I just kind of remember it's like, thanks for not giving up your dream. Yeah. Something yeah. like that, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's a big, like even just what you said, dude, let's let, before we even go any further, I feel like we should let, just, because let, start. we're, we're starting. Should to I pop this it. in? Yeah, this. plug it in. Yeah, let's get a few of the other things out of the way. Otherwise, right. we'll end up. I can't hear you. Okay. At the moment, because. Because. Oh shit! So tango. Okay, you can still hear me, yeah? Yeah, I've got you. Okay, perfect. You got me. Yeah. I like it. Perfect. And you got some water? Yeah, bro. Cool, man. You're onto it. Yeah, bro. I just want to um, kick things off now before we get too far down the rabbit hole. And I, I can't, because I want to I wanna hear a little bit about your story as well, like how you, where you came from and, and a little bit of the journey to get to this point here too. So I don't want to get too far so, down the track. I saw your necklace. Your necklace is the New Zealand thing. Yeah, Ponamu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Did you get one when you were down on the West Coast? Didn't you just go, you went to the West Coast recently? There's a lot of Ponamu down there. Oh, uh, no, not, not, not recently. Not but recently. Um, someone, someone gave one, someone gave a Ponamu to me. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. Okay, bro. Let's do let's, it. Let's do it. I'm recording. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. All right, bro, I'm going to count us down. Three, two, one. Boom, we're live. Kia ora, Cadby. Welcome, brother. Kia Do you just say Kia Kia I'm not that New Zealand. I don't even say Kia that much. <laughs> Bro, you know, you pronounce it beautifully. Yeah. I I'm just, it. I'm surprised that you started with Kia I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I always do it. It's such a, it's such a habit. It's such a unique word that anyone outside of New Zealand would have literally no idea what, I, what I'm saying, mm. but whatever. Start, it's a nice to, conversation starter. What does it mean again? Kia is like, hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Yeah, greeting. Yep. There's probably like a, a more expanded meaning to it, but yeah, definitely. Most people use it as kia ora, kia ora, yep. and hello. You know. Hey, thanks for bringing me on, man. Bro, such a really? pleasure, man. You're you're one of these like inspirational little <laughs> angel characters that's out there in the world that's just like oozing <laughs> positivity and and goodness, man. So, I yeah, I was excited to chat to you and get you on and just talk about life and it's hear a little bit about. Yeah, here look, because I first met you at the Biophilia Festival, which was earlier this year, and you you live your life, so you're you, but people observing you, you're quite a unique, interesting, fascinating character because um, you you're not only taking photos, but like there was there's such a connection between you and the people you're taking <laughs> photos with, and and like this mm. friendship is 
bonded and like i remember when we when you took that final photo of the whole group at, at biophilia I, I really got the the feeling that everybody in that group was probably what the whole everyone at the festival several hundred people three four five hundred people they all had their own connection with you you know because you'd been around and, and you'd formed a bond with everyone and that, that's such a unique skill because it's it's vulnerable to open yourself up to people that you you're just coming into into contact with for the first time you probably may never see them again you know but to really mm. open yourself up and to connect with them such a powerful thing so you really stood out in my mind and i've been quietly just observing what you've been doing and, and what you're up to and your journey and it's been a crazy eight ten months it sounds like for you so yeah man i'm excited to chat can no, you but just wait, i wanted to just before you ask a question i just wanted to say humbly like um oh like I, it's just uh, when you say about me opening yeah. it's interesting you said a concept because like well we'll go to your question instead but it's just like it reminded me when i got deported um two years ago there was such a blessing it was like i started to ask myself like why am i doing what i'm doing like mm -hmm. one of the questions i asked myself like i'll be talking to a stranger and i just talking to him in for an hour and yeah. i'm like i'm like man i just realized i love people and i sometimes i realized that when i'm I'm not trying to open up, yeah. but I realized when I start to open up, people start to open up. But that was yeah. really nice what you say. Yeah. Um, what, what, tell me about yeah. getting deported. I, I saw a little bit of a vlog about it, but <laughs> were you living in a, you got deported from Australia? Is that right? You want to just start from here? Okay, we'll start from here. So yeah, um, deets, it, man. It's crazy. I feel like it was two years ago, but to be honest, before I continue, I just want to say my worst day is my best day. But um, <laughs> Why? Why I got deported? You know, it's not the government. People always say, "Oh, it's the it's the freaking government." Yeah. It's like, dude, th just don't blame the government. It's not always the government. Maybe, but you no. Know, keep this. Keep it short. Is basically, I don't know if I should keep it short, but it's my family, family, some grandparents. They were selfish, um, doing some dodgy stuff. Yeah. Um, the lawyer was dodgy. Um, maybe it's Asian thing. <laughs> <I'm just joking>. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um it was it was dodgy and then we were in australia for eight years and um yeah we have to go wow so the and, whole family um, got up and left yeah we need, we need to go because it affected to our visa stuff got it do you want me to explain to you about what happened or is it really that is that is that already i mean it's kind of interesting <laughs> uh, okay i'll try to make a shot what, what happened was um Mom, my mom and my dad got divorced. Yeah. And my mom don't have any family in Hong Kong, which is where I was living, was okay. born. So my mom, dad, and her sister is in Australia. Mm -hmm. So the lawyers say, if you want to come here, we can help you get a visa. The visa will call the last family relative. Because my mom is the last family relative in yeah. Hong Kong. So okay. to re 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 reunite re what's the reunite? word reunite, reunite with, with my with with her dad and her sister. Okay. So that was a visa to get there, and then she can apply for res residency. And then we got there. The reason why it failed. Are you still with me? I'm with you, bro. Okay. I'm right here. With um, you. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure. So yeah, but the reason that it failed because granddad has a new wife. And uh, she has a son in China. And China and Hong Kong are back together. So that means my mom got a relative in China. So my mom is not the last family relative uh, okay. in Hong Kong. And that's why the visa got failed. Did that make sense? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> no, so my that mom makes... is... No, I just keep, if you don't understand, it's all good. But my, my mom, dad has a new wife. Right. And she has a son in China. Right. It sounds like so, a real technicality kind of like. Yeah. Not... So, so that son it, um, re relate to my mom. So that means my mom is not the last family relative in yes. Hong Kong. Okay. And so the, the government has a, has a, a law that 
you need to be the last family relative in Hong Kong no, to, to get so a visa, right? This wicker technical, I'll just keep it short, but it's like because um, for the visa to work, Got you know, it. is to have the, the, the son not related to my mum. So what my grandfather did was trying to do a fake divorce. Ah, uh, okay. And then right. the lawyer, he didn't renew our visa, so we were unlawful for three months. Got it. Okay. But yeah, that's the story. It just doesn't sound like shot. you did anything like that. Right? Oh, we, we, but, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't do anything, but yeah. I'm, not, I'm not blaming them. You know, no, he's insecure te- himself. Yeah, it's just a technicality and yeah, but one of those things. So you got deported and you came here to New Zealand. The whole family came here? Or just the reason that we came here because I used to live here when I was oh, little. Okay, right. So I'm a resident. Ah, oh, right. Okay. I'm a New Zealand resident. So because I was in Australia, I was in Tasmania, so it's similar to New Zealand. Yeah. But because I was there for eight years, for us to go back to Hong Kong mm-hmm. is a completely different lifestyle. Yeah. That's why we came here. Okay, so the whole family came here. The whole family came here. Okay, cool. So where are they now? You're in Auckland, but you're staying with some. Um, that's a, oh, I'm, I'm just staying with this. This is another story. I'm just staying for three days because my vans broke down, but that's another story. I I can, I can tell that inside, but, um, came here. I can sleep anywhere, but my family can't. Um, so I helped my family to find a house. So I got three little brother and my Mm mum. So it took me three months to find a house. And, um, there was time that me and my three, my little brother was sleeping on the beach. Mm-hmm. Which is really good, actually, because it shows my little brother life doesn't just happen to you. Yeah. Doesn't just come out to your asshole. You need to work for it. So yeah. it was good because they were young, you know, sometimes. So wait, you, oh, guys not were blame. All, you were all sleeping out on the beach, did you say? Yeah, that was the full time we slept on the beach. Um, we were, we met, um, we crossed past some stranger and then they let us stay like a small apartment. Right. And I was sleeping on the kitchen floor. So my brother slept on the couch. It was Whoa. so small. Yeah. Um, but I can sleep anywhere, bro. It yeah. is, I can sleep anywhere, um, yeah. but my family can't. But that was an interesting moment. So, yeah. So your mom was there with you on the beach as well? And your three brothers? No. So, so my mom was at someone's house. And then we just decided to sleep on the beach because um, oh, this is another story. But it's like um, we have, like I say we because I, I guess my brother on the same page with me. Like we have a mom. Yeah. But we don't really have a mum. Right. And to be honest, I'm not trying to make sense. I'm I'm not trying to be positive thinking. Maybe yeah. I am. Yeah. Um, people say I'm positive. I'm not I'm not that positive. I'm just trying to be positive. Yeah. Um, but um if I have the mum that I wanted to be, I wouldn't be who I am today. You know, when say that again. Sorry, just if, so clear. If I have the mum yeah. that I wanted to have. Yeah. I would not be the person I am yeah. today. Okay. Because, because like those time, those three months, no, no one said to help to find a house. Yeah. I need to find a house. Mum, mum, you could say mum is Christian, but um, it doesn't matter. Just label, but mm. um, she pray, mm. but you know, sometimes they pray, but they don't do anything about it. Right. Let the universe decide and then mm. just fucking, oh, sorry, and just sit there and don't do anything about it. Yeah. Bro, you, 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 you got to do something about it. So she's like, oh, we're just, we're just going to find a house. God, yeah. we're going to give me a house. Yeah. And then long story short, I find a house. And then she say, she actually complained. Right? And then um, uh, just to continue, people said like, hey, all mums are complaining. But to be honest, man, my mom complained on a different level. Like I find a house and then she said the house looked too old. <laughs> so like, don't tell me that you are mean to my mom. Like, yeah. dude, I, I, people always say they love my mom. My, I'm getting resistance to say I love my mom. Like, I, I love her for bringing me here. But like, to be honest, I, I love her for being who she is. Because otherwise, I wouldn't go. Because when I feel like shit, and when I feel like crap, mm-hmm. um, when I feel like crap, um, no one was there. You know, like, yeah. I need to really be like, I, I don't have someone to be like, hey, cuddle me. Mm. Like, I, when I got deported, man, it was grateful because no one was there. Yeah. You know, like obviously stranger help, but like it was all on me. Yeah. So to keep keep it warm myself by my mum, like when I find a house and she said the house looked too old. And I'm just like, dude, I've just find it. Yeah. Okay. Slip in the man. And then she needed a car, find a car, and she said the car's too small. Yeah. It doesn't look fancy enough. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. 
um, and to be honest, man, you know, share a little bit more if, if, um, when, um, what he say, um, I find out, uh, my mom find out my brother was selling cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Um, my brother actually smart. So they were selling cigarettes, but they weren't smoking it. So guess oh. what? <laughs> they were making money. Second thing, they were popular. Boom. So they're making like, what, like $300, $300 a week. What? And it, that's what I mean, bro. Like, so like, so like, and, and so they were smart. They weren't smoking it. But I told them, man, you know, how you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah. If you do the easy way, you're going to do the easy way in life. So I end up asking them what they love to do. And um, one of them loved drawing. So he start drawing every day. And guess what? My mom was complaining. She was, he was drawing every day. So people say like, you mean to your mom, boom, shut up. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm checking. But anyway, yeah, I guess it's tough because we're all so different and family's always such an interesting one because you know, if, if your friend, you know, is being a bit of a dickhead, you can kind of call them out on it. Like stop being a dickhead, uh, you know, or just stop being friends with them, you know, just move yeah. on, move apart. But family, it's like you're, you're together, you know what I mean? And and there's such an idea and, and I, ideals around what family means and and it's just ch it's challenging man and especially when when you've got such different ways of doing things and and when there's stress involved and, and you i'm sure your mum was feeling all sorts oh, I'm of sure she stuff was. And, mm. and i'm not trying to i'm not trying to defend her at all but it's just like oh yeah i know I, know. I, I relate yeah. i relate to what you're saying on on many levels and it's just it's challenging growing up and, mm. and dealing with things and, and no one really talks about it either. You know, I think family is kind of one of those, it's almost like a taboo topic. Like mm. we kind of, we all kind of pretend like everything's all good, but it's not all good, but it's not, it's not perfect the way that it's made out. Like it's, it's not bad, but it's not mm. like perfect and the way that it's made out to be. So I, yeah, I hear you, man. It's challenging. So, so what, like, you you came over here and you've been here for a couple of years now you got to you go just so, just so, just so. I, I sorry i don't want to talk too much but i just wanted to tap something i feel like this is something very valuable that i can maybe can share with family stuff but yeah. like because i know a lot of my friend going through like family stuff but yeah fa families i guess everyone have different opinion maybe i'll get some opinion about it but because i don't really have a family so yeah not being cheesy, but like you are my family. Yeah. But what I'm, what I'm saying, they say family is everything. Everyone's different, different coach, but family can't be everything. Hmm. You know, like, like is, is your life just going to depend on just five of you? Dude, that's hmm. 7 billion people on planet earth, man. Hmm. You, you got, sometimes you just got to make a decision. You got to give something up to go, to go get you one. Like, what is that that you want? You want to get clear on your, your, bullshit so this way but like your bullshit with your family okay mm -hmm. deal with it yeah. but do it for yourself man mm. don't do it trying to change your mom i i, I was on this stage yeah but one of the hardest thing after finding that three month i felt i don't i don't like to use the word depressed but i felt kind of like depressed after finding a house for three months yeah. and i realized that i'm not trying to make excuse but i realized part of it was my environment mm. it was one of, part of it was my mom i wake up i hear negative I take a shit, I hear negative. I eat my lunch, I hit negative. You know, like, and I realized that I was trying to be positive. I was having a cold shower, wake mm. up early, do my workout, eating healthy. But dude, one thing I need to control was my environment. Yeah. And, and I left. Um, I, offered, I didn't left. I, I make sure my brother go to school and I'd be like, you know what? This is not working. Mm. She's not going to change, yeah. but I can change. So I leave. Best thing I ever done in my life. So like, yeah. I just want to say to people like, you got some bullshit to deal with your family, man. Yeah. You know, do it for yourself, but don't try to like, just just family can't be everything, man. Yeah. Like, you know, you, I, I say to myself now is my dream first, and maybe but I, not not I don't have a partner, but oh, I did say to people that um they have a connection, but I always say it's my dream first. Yeah. Because if I can't take care of, if I give up my dream, I being with you is just more like, um, being with you is not like me fully giving. It's more like I'm taking something. Sometimes it's fine to take, but I'm, yeah. I'm being a relationship with you so I can feel good, mm. but I need to take care of my dream so I can take care of my family. 
Yeah. So I just want to put it out there, man. Like I know everyone's dealing with shit, but man, fam, two people can't be everything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear you, man. I like what you said about like, do it for yourself as well. Like I, I did a lot of stuff in the last couple of years, bringing up a lot of stuff that happened with me in relation to my family and, and mm. some instances that happened with my extended family as well. And, and it all, I realized that like I had been relating to my family according to instances that ha had happened between family members that actually had nothing to do with me, but had affected me. And I just wanted to get clear on the fact that like these things happen, but it's got nothing to do with me, but I needed to have some conversations to the, the people, the people involved. Yep. And I was doing that for my own benefit. Like I, I they can, I'm not trying to like blend, you know, heal their relationship or, you know, be yep. a matchmaker or whatever. It's just like this, you guys do whatever you want, but I need to have this conversation with you so that I can, I can Feel connect good. with you. And I don't have that elephant in the room when I talk to you, you know, that, that sort of thing. But that stuff, it's tough. It's tough to That's have. That's a win. Th yeah. It's such, it was such a win. And like, I don't want to say everything's like, um, you know, rosy in the whole McMeekin clan, but it's, it's from my aspect of it there's nothing that's gone unsaid so i can look people in the eye and we like there's not that weird unsaid thing i guess one of the mm. most important like the one thing i think about a lot is like could i you know those days that you get up and you're like you're probably maybe not feeling your best and you put on your kind of you know your pajamas or whatever you know just kind of home clothes or whatever and then be like oh shit i need to go to the supermarket and you go to the supermarket and there's just a part of you that hopes that you don't bump into someone. And wow. I have this like supermarket test, right? It's like, is there anybody out there in the world that I wouldn't want to see at the supermarket when I'm not feeling great and, and not, work, not my best self? You know what I mean? And if there's anyone in that category that I need to like, that I couldn't be 100% authentic with or I feel 100% empowered, there's a conversation I need to have with that person, you know, even if it's really sticky and it hurts that person, it's like, I need to be able to clear the air. So even if that, if, even if I see that person at the, at the supermarket and they hate me, I can still look them in the eye and be like, I, I expressed like my truth to you. Mm, mm. And like, that's all, that's all we can do. At least I'm not like, trying to avoid them you know that i don't know if you ever did that growing up it's like oh my god it's such and such i need to walk the other way that shit yeah, yeah. irks me so yeah it's it's tough we've got to have these tough conversations you've got to make big calls sometimes sometimes you do need to to step aside when it gets to that mm. point where it's like actually this mm. environment is just not working for me i gotta go like yep, it's a big yep, call yep. to make so and i yeah. and i really like that you say the hate thing because something that came up is like um I feel like when people are hating on you or maybe label you something, they just don't understand you. Yeah. And I always say to people like, if you're a genuine, yeah. You no, know, sometimes ego come, sometimes ego is good. You know, like, um, just use the ego, but you know, if you're being genuine, yeah. if that person still hate on you, good. Yeah. And, um, cause uh, you, you're going to, but I, you know, one thing I also want to say, man, like I said, people on the internet now, they say, fuck the haters. Like, don't, 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 don't fuck the haters. Like, yeah. They, they, they are, they are, they are good to be there. Yeah. Understand the haters, man. Cause the like, and without, they're not hating on you. They're hating on themselves. They quick, bro. Yeah. Well, that they, they, there's, there's something definitely going on for them that like you saying something or you expressing something, it triggers it, something in them yeah. and it's super uncomfortable for them. And the only way they know how to deal with that is to project it back at you. Mm. And, and if, if you understand that, if someone says something nasty to you, particularly online, there's no knee jerk reaction to it. It's got nothing to Have do compassion. with compassion. Mm. We can just, mm. yeah. And you don't need to be a smart ass about it. And nah. sit, you know, and say, it's a waste of energy. Yeah. It's just like, just, you know, I mean, you can acknowledge it with people and, and understand that they're hurting or you, or you can just take a deep breath and be like, man, I, you know, send a prayer to that person or send, send some vibes to that person because they're in pain. You know, I think where we get in trouble, like into arguments and big conflict is when we start taking things personally and, and no one knows how to take responsibility for their own pain. Mm. And it's, it's super difficult, man. Like I still struggle with it. I had a, 100%. a little, um, little breakdown the other day where I just, 
it was just came out of nowhere. It was just like, boom, snap. And all of a sudden I didn't, I was, I felt these kind of looming old patterns and habits coming in and I didn't know how to shake them. And then my kind of old way of being comes out and I just go quiet and I, and I don't know how to connect. And what happened if you want to share? Oh, it's a long story. Uh, no, I don't mind not, sharing not it. A long, not a long story. It's just, it just passed. I'm not totally sure what, like what it was all about now, but it was with, it was with my girlfriend Talia where a couple of things came up and that's awesome. I, I think I needed, I needed some, like, I just needed some me time, but I didn't, I didn't necessarily feel like connecting with people, but we only had a, a certain amount of time to connect with each other that day. She's been working hard and, and it was just like this, all this stuff just kind of bubbled up. And I was like, man, I, I don't know what to say right now. I wasn't feeling totally empowered within myself. And then boom, before you know it, I'm in a breakdown. It can happen so quickly. Mm. And, and it didn't, it feels nasty, you know, but later I just kind of sat with it. I was like, well, you know, don't beat yourself up even more for this It'll pass. And, and when she came home, we had a chat and reconnected. And then I was honest about what was actually going on. There's two or th- generally two or three things going on below the surface. Mm. Um, and it's, it's hard to sometimes in the moment, it's very hard to express that, you know, but just with a little bit of space, those things can come up and you can actually talk about it rationally and you're not so emotionally invested in it. Mm. If that makes sense. So it's tough, man, especially like communicating, and connecting with people, especially because we're not taught how we're just, we're, we're shown, you know, role models. If we're lucky, we've got, um, you know, emotional and emotionally intelligent parents or teachers and, and kind of elder father, you know, um, adult figures in our life. If we're lucky, most of us don't feel not, not a shot at, at the older generations, but they just, they were in a different generation. So they had a different yeah. set of challenges ahead of them. So each new generation that comes forth has to kind of figure things out and go through these murky times and, have sticky conversations and go through all sorts of different feelings and stuff. Mm. And it's just it's challenging, man, being a young person. And especially when we don't it, like to have conversations like this are such a rare thing, you know, like you can't, you could put a post out there, but it doesn't, it doesn't get into the weeds <laughs> like we, we can get to now with the, the, the mechanics of, and the logistics and the practicalities and the, the pitfalls of connecting yep. with humans. Like we can actually flesh it out. So it's, it's yeah it's tough it's tough to be a human sometimes in relation to other humans <laughs> it's interesting i'm told if you are, it's interesting that you say figure that out because something that came up was like i don't know if i'm really trying to figure that out like i am mm-hmm. and I, I i don't i felt like for me maybe i will use the word will be like i, I feel like i'm just really discover you could say my potential, if you want to label it, it's like, mm-hmm. I'm not, I don't know if I'm trying to figure that out. Like, you know, yeah. especially, I feel like that, that figured it out is also school. Yeah. Um, parents, it's like, hey, figure it out. I'm yeah. like, man, they, 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 they trying to figure it themselves. Mm. So I feel like, like it's, I, I feel like it's not about figuring it out. For me now, it's, I, I, maybe sometime, but I, I really want to just, no, actually, no, I, I feel like me talking to you more, I feel like I'm not trying to figure figure it out i'm just trying to like see what is more that i can do yeah like that potential you know yeah. like um i'm not really chasing on perfect i'm like first i was doing photography i'm a barber but and then now it's like okay what is more yeah 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 what, Dude, what hear, is more like, I'm, it's, I hear, uh, yeah I, I hear you man i'm sorry to interrupt but i i really hear you for me it was like okay i was an acoustic singer songwriter yeah and it but like what what's what more what's more and i think the whole figure it out thing i really hear what you're saying because it, it, it put it implies this pressure you know like you need to f- figure it out figure it out f- you know because there's a problem but when it's discovery <laughs> like you know when there's discovery it's like what like what more could i do and there's mm. no pre- like when you're discovering there's no time pressure you're just discovering you're learning you're growing there's no pressure and yep. it's such a better a lens to look through it at Mm. because i i still i i'm still a part of that that paradigm of figuring it out like i i it's it and i know it's my own little um challenges and quirks that i go through but it's it can be challenging when you put yourself Mm. out there in these new 
modes, especially when you you're trying to figure it out and you're trying to figure it yeah. out on a public platform and yeah. you run your own stories about what people may or may not be thinking and, and all of that yeah. stuff. But if you're just coming at it from that childlike wonder and that discovery, it's like you're yes, just, you're bulletproof, you know, because it's just like I'm, dude, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like. I'm searching, man. Like I'm not searching is the wrong word. I'm just, I'm just having a go. Discovering. I'm discovering. Yeah. I'm like, I've got a little, I've got a little sand, you know, sand shovel and, and I'm in the sand pit, just like digging. Like, what will I find? You know? It's like, hey, the more you say about this word figure out is trigger me like so good because like I start to understand like, like I guess it triggered me again. Like I was having a conversation with like, Oh, I, I, I say, how's life? No, he said, I asked me, how's that? Mm. No, 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 no. She, she asked me how's life, and yeah. then I was about to say, I, I was about to say something, and then she's like, "Hey, you know, I understand you're young, you're just trying to figure it out." Mm. And I'm like, "Fuck, bro, I'm not trying to figure it out. You trying to figure it out as well." And I've, <laughs> I, I, I'm getting so resistant about this figure it out. Maybe I'm trying to sabotage it, but I really believe that I'm not trying to figure it out. I'm, I feel like people just use figure it out because it's easy to label as like, "Oh, you're just trying to figure it out." I feel like. The right word for me, everyone's different, but for me, but the more the conversation we have, I feel like I'm really just trying to discover my potential. Yeah. What is more that I can do? Yeah. Like uh, I'm, I'm just feel like like, like really, what's more that I can do? You know, something just come up. I don't know who said that to me. Oh, Grant Cardone. He say like, look, look at God. You know, like he, he's not. Re- people say be grateful, but look at him. Oh, let, let's create Mars. Let's create the Earth. Oh, butterfly, let's create 10 of them. You know what I mean? Like, like, like what's more? Like, um, and I don't feel like there's anything wrong with like doing more because I just, you could say maybe ego, but. No, 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 I'm just, it's not. It's not it, it's, I feel like ego is good as well if you use it right, to be honest. It's yeah, like, no, what ego, is more that I can do? Yeah, no, because ego, my understanding of it anyway, is that ego is, is a huge part of the thing that keeps us small, will keep you from doing the things because your your most freest expressed self will be just creating you know just making mm. things and and trying things out and if it doesn't work doesn't matter just like try something else like that's just that's freedom and, and creativity in mm. full expression the ego gets in the way of that and of course when it gets presented to the world it's going to come through your lens and your charisma that will present it to the world and that mm. you could call mm. that ego and that's what it's it's good for like personality and, and your yep. charisma and, and your personality did i say that i think i just said that um, curiosity do you say uh, personality like it's oh, coming personality. through that coming through that that lens and that that is ego that's where the ego is good because the, yeah. the ego makes me different from you mm, mm, um mm. and and not our soul or our spirit or whatever or our humanness but just in like your cadby and i'm karen and this is this is where these two different entities and i think it's a it's a good it's a good way to look at it like it's it's healthy and it can be it can be unhealthy as well, the, mm. and the, the ego. And, and I think it's just, it's good to get clear on what it is and what it isn't, because I think people say, don't be egotistical or whatever, but uh, y- you know, we've got to be mindful of what that actually means because the ego may just keep you super small and, and stop you from actually achieving like what, what your potential is, what like discovering what, even discovering what your potential may be like, someone projecting their own fears or their own insecurities onto you, you know, like I was so glad when I started this podcast and started vlogging, I I had no one around me to actually say, to talk to it about, to talk about it to. And that was the best thing because I just guarantee it. If I spoke to any kind of managerial person or like someone in the industry, quote unquote, there would be so many like questions and, and like, Oh, are you sure that's a good idea? Like, is that a good idea for your <laughs> career and all, all this stuff? And it's like, that, they yeah. may be valid questions, but like, like, let's talk in a year. Like, let me try it out and then let's talk. Yeah. You know, like, I think we've, there's a time and a place to be, to be, you know, think things through and that, but there's also a time to, to be like, man, no, I'm going to give this a go because it's excites me and it, it seems yep. fun. And I'm curious about it. I want to discover what, what it's like and where that will stretch I, me. I really like what you say because it also like, because what I've been learning is, um, well, I totally got blank. Um, <laughs> oh, no, no, I remember. <laughs> like people say, say to you like, oh, is that a good idea? Yeah. And I always understand that, oh, not always, but it's a reminder, but it's like sometimes people, 
they either like like be like, hey, Cappy, is this a good idea? Do you think so? Yeah. Or they would be like, they're usually saying it because they can't think of them doing it by themselves. Like for example, I'm thinking, no, I'm not, I'm not thinking. Um, may, no, I already, I have make a decision. I'm going to borrow seventy thousand or fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. And um, some people say, man, don't do it, man. Yeah. But, and then I, I said to myself, is he saying that to him or yeah. her? Or is he saying that to me? Because they can't think that they will borrow seventy thousand dollars. Mm. But I'm just I'm sharing that with you because what I've been learning is that like sometimes people they say it, I need to not be egotistic to be like, hey, I understand, but Cappy, deep down, do you think he's actually trying to help? Mm. Or is he just saying it to himself? Yeah. And but I feel like that's too, sometimes just get too complicated, but sometimes I always say to myself, it's what I'm doing is genuine. Hey, I can always I can always make another seventy thousand dollars back. You know, yeah. it's, at the end of the day, man, it's money. What's what's the purpose of money? Money is there to be used. Yeah. It's it's not there to be safe. Like money is just a where, where's money? I don't even, I don't even carry cash around me. Um money just paper, bro. Yeah. Do you want the paper or do you want um do you uh, like or do you want to invest into something, like invest mm. into yourself? Mm. Because this guy called Grant Cardone, I don't know if you've heard of him. Um Say he said the, slowly, what are you saying? Grant Cardone. Grant Graham? Grant Grant my English. Grand Cardone. Okay, Grand Cardone. I haven't heard of uh, that person. It, it, so it, it doesn't matter. But okay. um, he, he said to me, he's, like, he didn't say to me, but he was saying that the best investment you ever make is in yourself. Mm. It, yeah, and this, like, in this day and age, eh? like, I don't know what it was like to live 50, 100 years ago, but we have so much stuff accessible to us and so many... Um, you know, opportunities to grow and learn. Uh, Because I think a lot of us with the internet, it's like with the dawn of the internet, a lot of us has figured out like, man, there's so much useful information out there Mm. that I Mm. wasn't taught. Mm. And at this point in history, we, we, there has to be a, you know, I have to invest in that information when it wasn't because it wasn't taught to me growing up. You know what I mean? So because Mm. it's accessible, yes, like invest time and it does cost money, invest time and money into yep. learning. It's just learning. Um, there's this information, personal development skills and, and business skills, um, you know, instruments or like learning about photography, videography, music production. It's all there. Like that's all yep, investing yep, yep. in yourself. Yes. It's just schools and tools. And it's so amazing. There's a mm. lot of gimmicks out. There's a lot of distractions out there and stuff as well. We need to be savvy and, and, mindful of the you know the pitfalls that we might get into with the internet but for the most part like yes like invest do that workshop invest in that piece of software like buy that camera like go out and, and create and learn and and, and and also man just just want to share that with myself it's like man maybe that's not a workshop but you might go to hundred of them and one of them be like oh boom yeah you know it might take a hundred time to do a workshop it might not work the first time yeah um, and that's why we, we just never know what is the, like, I feel like sometimes when people make a decision, they find it hard because they say, is this the right decision? Yeah. But I always, I always say to them, also myself, it's like, when's the last time you make, like, I'm maybe asking you now, like, when's the last time you make a bad decision? Yeah. When was the last time like, you made a bad decision? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have made a bad decision exactly (laughs) i make so just i I make like i make subjectively poor artwork all the time but i don't think it was a bad decision it was just a decision Mm. that i learned from and i genuinely mean that like i've just been make i've just been making beats the last few days i I brought some Mm. soft software and i've been getting into Mm. music production and like some might say as a singer acoustic singer songwriter that that's a bad decision i just need to focus on songwriting and just get better and better at songwriting, but like that doesn't. Yeah, I understand. Just, understand. Just yes. doesn't like, super excite me at the moment. It excites yep. me more to experiment with different sounds, different textures, and, and actually yep. cre- creating the production, the song yes. from scratch myself, and not needing other people to do it. And, and oh, interesting that you mm. say you don't need other people to do it when you well, when you say that. I, I get you. That's it. I, I think I feel, I already understand yeah. it. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. But I was gonna say something um, that. Um, what it gone blank again? I'm so present in the moment. Um, you were saying, 
Oh yeah, I was saying like, I understand when they say you should just focus on songwriting, but you the person that know that, are you just looking for like short term like fulfillment, or yeah. are you looking to expand your knowledge? And you're the only one that know that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. um, but uh, the reason I was saying about the bad decision because when you start to understand that it's not really bad decision. Like I'm not trying, I'm not saying you like you jump off a building. Like, no, that's stupid. Yeah. But like, um, just if if you don't know something, just 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 make a decision. Just don't dwell on it so much because I feel like sometimes we do think. But I, for, for me anyway, I feel like sometimes I learn that I overthink. Yeah. So just make a decision, and if quick, if and then be like, boom, not good. Just at least you got it done in the next ten minutes instead of, instead of for a week. Yeah, wasting just energy. Just do it. Eh? Yeah. yeah, and then just like just make a decision. The reason like I wanted to start making like decision like this, like obviously like have logical thinking as well, because mm-hmm. for me to work for myself, something I start to go into deeper is like um uh from this guy say from this guy he said like um when you take a week to make a decision, your client gonna take a week to make a decision. Mm. If you need your wife to be involved your client, their wife to be involved. Mm-hmm. You know, if you say it's too much, your client's going to say too much. And then people say this all the time, if I change, the world will change. And I'm like, the more this stuff, I'm like, wow, so true. So I start to make decisions like this. People are like, are we going to do this? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like, if we talk about a little bit about business, you know, people say that, oh, it's too much. But I realized that it's never really about the price. It's really about the value and certainty. Is this going to work? Yeah. Is this the right thing for me? And then I realized that because I start to make decisions, let's do it. Yeah. Like what I with me and you, when can we do the podcast? Okay, let's do it tomorrow. Hmm. No, if we're going to do something, man, let's do it. Like mm-hmm. why? Let's take maybe off. Is it a yes or no? Yeah. Because when I say no to you, I'm not saying no to you. I'm just saying no that hey, I can't do it now because a no can be a yes later. Hmm. And, um, so I start to make decisions like this and then I start to have people come into my life to be like, let's do it. Yeah. Like I, um, you could label him. Oh, he's now I'm a mentor now. I never thought I wanted a mentor, but he just came into, he's a teacher. Like he's a, you can label it. But he said to me, he's like, Cappy, how much is, um, will, will cost to do a video? Um, can you give me the price later? I said, no, I can give you the price now. Hmm. Okay, good. How much? $800. Mm-hmm. Okay, boom. Okay, Cappy, let's do it. Boom, let's do it. Yeah, and but like, how, how much is and then and he even said to me, "Be like, I want to treat you well. I want to give you the value of it." And I'm like, man, like so much people around me. Sometimes, um, they're like, "Oh, I don't, I don't want to make the decision. It's too hard for me, man. Can you do it for me?" <laughs> but I learned that, man. If you don't make the de- if you don't make the decision, the decision is gonna make for you. Mm. Yeah, so just no, make the freaking decision. Yeah. And there's nothing we talk about all the time. Like people say, hey, take your time. Like I understand like this moment, I, I'm still learning. Like I'm not perfect, but like I'm learning to be like, okay, um, is, this, is this genuinely what I want? Mm. Is, this, is this going to be, get to what I want with my dream? Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. A bit more of a structured logical decision yeah. it's just not the yeah. umming and ahhing and considering what other people think and what if it fails and what does that mean it's all of it getting rid of all of that shit it's just like mm. is this does this feel genuine to me is this like aligned with where i want to go with my life mm. yes even if it's challenging even if it makes you feel uncomfortable yes do it and then just figure out how the heck you're going to do it or make yes, it happen yes. afterwards or discover how you're going to do it afterwards i'm with you i'm yeah. with you so do you want to hear more story like um instead of me keep sharing really like hear, mumbling uh, wisdom yeah please i really want to hear um just about your because i think about this a lot what would happen if all of my stuff got stolen and i like i've i've lost the past, <laughs> i've broken stuff i've broken a laptop before and it's just gutting you know mm. so when i heard a few months ago or whenever it was it was in the last year anyway um that all of your stuff got stolen all of your camera gear and and other equipment and stuff that you had like tell me like what tell me the story of that like what you were doing where you were going and when you found out it was stolen and the, the immediate reactions to that of course um i really like that you asked me that question but 
also wanting to know what if that but that, that was really good framing but wow like i can only tell you because i was you know what happened was um i traveled down to south island to do some work and um okay no, no, let me keep the story short so um i meant to have a place to stay that night but i was working to really late mm -hmm. so i feel bad of rocking up late Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous thinking. Um, I'm right. still going to work on it. And then so I end up slept on the beach. Yeah. Um, so I parked the car and slept on the beach. Because I was there, I slept on that beach for like three months, like without a tent, just in my sleeping bag, just on the beach. I was like, oh, oh girl, I just slept there, no, no big deal. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> and then I, I got up and then walked to the car and I saw the car was smashed, the window was smashed. Yeah. And then I'm like, shit. Hmm. And I look in it, my backpack's gone. So, um, if you can see it. Oh, my toothbrush. <laughs> if you see this backpack. I can't see it. Oh, the green one. The green one. Uh, yeah. I'll, come, I'll come and stop showing. It, it, we just told them it's a backpack, but that backpack is everything I need. Yeah. Okay. And, and to there? be What's honest. Oh, actually, I want to show you something. Okay. In that backpack, I'll show my wardrobe. Ready? I, I got it out there because I was getting changed, but this is my wardrobe. What is that? A wardrobe. This is my clothes. And that thing. This is all yeah. my clothes, bro. For those people who are listening, that is literally the size of a, like a toiletry bag. Like where are your shoes? Do you have shoes? Yeah, I've got shoes. I wear them, <laughs> but I don't put them in my bag, bro. I just need one open, pair of shoes. Open it up. What, what's in there? Nice polka dots. Is that your pajamas? Two pair. Of, no, I don't have pajamas. <laughs> two pair, are they underwear? Two, just two pair of underwear. Dude, you got to get different underwear. They they about as they are not sexy underwear at all. Come on, man. They're not <laughs> sexy. You got to get sexy I'll, I'll, underwear. I should have got three pair. What about this one? Pairs. I love a pair you're wearing. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm showing you my penis or something. Like this penis. is my underwear. It's about to get X-rated. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Like, damn. Oh, awful. Oh, oh, they're not too bad. Are they silk? No, it, it was yeah, they were silk. Oh man! I just um, so two pair. I uh, what? No, two pair of socks. Dude, I need to and, buy some like nice underwear or something. Come on, so and two then, pairs of and socks then, and two t-shirts. Two oh, t-shirts. This is minimalism, like in and, and three t-shirts. Three um, t-shirts. I love that. And then for 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 winter, I'll just have this. That, that. what is that? You know, two. like sort of like tight. Like a like pants. Skivvy. They're like a skivvy. Oh, they're pants. Yep. Wow. I, I'm going to share more story how I can end up not Dude, kind of skip the cold that, because... I, I just want to say it's it's bloody awesome to be like light on your feet. Uh, you know, not have a lot of crap. You know, I'm just not like... I'm over here in the States. I don't have a lot of stuff, but I'm slowly just accumulating a few things, you know, like... Yeah. I've got, a, I've got a suitcase worth of stuff and I've got my guitar. I've now got a little MIDI keyboard and a... Um, yeah microphones and stuff so i'm slowly yep. accumulating stuff it's still pretty light but there's so, something so epic about just having a backpack you know what i mean backpack and a drink bottle and your camera and a microphone or whatever and you're just like, i've got my barber more. stuff as well oh perfect yeah so dude tell me yeah tell me like you got your stuff oh, stolen. just 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 to clarify something like um yeah. i'll ask you a question but dude like to be honest that's fun yeah and it's fine because i'm a freelancing for two years yeah but that bad stolen for a reason. I'm not trying to make sense of my situation. Yeah. I, I, I don't like to just make sense of my situation, like make sense of my failure. But yeah. like, it was fun. But like, dude, I don't see anything wrong buying a keyboard. You know, I don't see anything wrong. But like, I knew. Okay, so maybe I'll get to the story now. So I'll, I should, I'll, I'll just get to it, to, to, to the lesson I learned. But I'll just get to the story. But when I saw the window smash, I saw my bag was stolen. Hmm. I couldn't believe I wasn't actually, I, 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 this is 100%, I couldn't believe it. Like I reflected. So in that moment, I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. What am I going to do now? Just like it legit, up. bro. Look, like, it was so quick. Yeah. I, I was like, what am I going to do? And I just want to tell people, also tell, okay, I don't know what to tell people, but they listen to it, but I got nothing except that. That's like uh, my bag, like inside it, it's like twenty to thirty thousand dollars of, of, of gear. Oof. And then like um What did you I, have in there? Camera gear, drone. I don't have my drone issue. Camera gear, 
lab because just the camera itself and the lens like 10 grand laptop hard drive barber stuff barber stuff is like a grand Oof. so like um I can show you my backup later. Yeah, um, show me later. It, it's, it's all structured. That's why it can be started with thirty thousand, twenty thousand dollars here. So yeah. twenty thousand gone, and um, I got nothing except that's the only asset, or, or maybe my van. Um, mm. but I was with, I was like, I, my reaction was just like, wow, okay, what, 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 what I'm gonna do about it? Yeah. Like I, I didn't, I didn't. Like, oh shit, fuck, beat it. Uh, and then in that moment, I reflect, I'm like, wow, I learned a lot about letting go. Yeah. Because when I got deported, I didn't start everything over again. And now I learned that, hey, I can always, I, was, I can always buy, I can always get another camera. Hmm. Dude, what, what's the difference? Losing $10,000 or making $10,000? Same hmm. shit. You can always make a $10,000, what? Mm. okay just just blow it off just mm. get a new one and i'm like it, again it's my fault anyway so that's what i'm saying like dude i i two, two things that i realized was um first i'm trying to do everything by myself nothing wrong with it but i knew because i'm trying to care my whole life and also one more thing i want to share with people like i like to be honest that whole backpack you know my wardrobe mm-hmm that's five percent of my backpack. Ninety-five percent of the stuff I carry, I use it to share people message and love. Mm. So if I don't really have to, and also I use it to make money as well. So, mm. but um, yeah, I realized that I'm trying to do everything by myself. Mm. And at the end of the day, can you really do everything by yourself? And if you can, this is really rewarding. Mm. It's a rhetorical question, but I'm asking myself it at the moment being someone that is doing everything myself and yeah. I haven't always done it myself. I've had a team, but I just find myself in the, and again, moving countries, not knowing anyone back at, at square one, like you, you're saying, and, and you, you do start off by yourself and you accumulate team of course. members and, and stuff. But in my experience, it's way more enjoyable when there's a team, but mm. there, I think there's, I know this was a rhetoric question, but I find myself answering it. I think there's there's definitely pros to working by yourself for a 100%. time, and then there's pros to working with a team as well. Yeah, and eventually, I think uh, a team, to, depending on what you want to achieve, for it's the both of us, it that's the like, that's the right question. That's the yeah, right question. Depends yeah. what you want to achieve. You're gonna need you're gonna need team members. You're gonna need to, you know give people jobs like I, I eventually want to find someone that will produce this podcast for me and to be able to yeah. produce vlog posts for me videos and stuff so that i can focus more on just the yes. music because this is such a time investment and i love doing it but yeah. i am working towards building a team around it so that i can just do the part of it which i really love which is just chatting to you right now yeah um when you when you when you're starting out you got to do it yourself you know and 100 I'm, I'm totally okay with that hey dude i like i feel like that's the right question when you say like oh, just wait my microphone um I still, uh, that's a good question. It depends what you want. Yeah. You know, like um, as a freelancing, you know, I can do everything by myself. Yeah. And the reason that I say that I was trying to do everything by myself because I was, I knew that I was doing that for fear. You know, like, cause it's, oh, I don't want to rely on that person. Um, but, and yeah. then I end up maybe, maybe for example, I was doing, um, give you an example. Um, Oh, like because right now I need to do my accounting mm-hmm. so I can get a bank statement and um, to show my bank be like that's how much I make, blah blah. And I end up doing it by myself. Okay. And then what? And it costs me time and money, just pay someone and do it. Mm. You know what I mean? And um that's kind of what I'm saying, but um oh, oh, okay, I'll get into detail. Just do, I'm going blank again. Um Well, you're talking about like we I'd really love to know post uh post losing your stuff am i right in saying that you got was there like a pledge me or a um like a crowd funding crowd raising yeah okay so talk, talk um about that because that was really cool when i heard that People oh i'm okay i remember now so the second thing is that i learned so first thing was i tried to do everything by myself and second thing was that like i knew i just knew what i'm doing is wasting my potential 
like working for myself, you know, like do a wedding. Sort of, I will leave your question and set, but like it, you understand, but it was like what I was doing. I'll do a wedding, you know, get paid two grand, three grand, um, not just the money, but it was good fulfillment, like good time as well. And I'll be like, what's the next wedding? And then I start to reflect all this. Like, I'll do a website. What's the next website? I'll do a video. Um, give it to them. And then what, what's the next, next job? And I'll just say to myself, it's like, again, reflecting myself, myself again, like, why am I doing what I'm doing? Mm. And I feel like that, like, it's not the right or wrong goal, but my goal is like, what's the next job? But it's like, I want to do, I, I want, it's not fulfilling anymore. Yeah. What is that peaking? No, it's not. Um, it's not fulfilling anymore. It's not like I create a video. So they're not just getting money, but they're also getting impact as well. Yeah. And um, I was being selfish. I've been working for myself. So to talk about your crowdfunding. So share a quick story. Uh, also include the crowdfunding. So one guy, reach out to me and say, I saw what happened. Do you need some help? Mm. Someone that I never really met, like how I met him was, it was at a spiritual festival, like Illuminate. Mm -hmm. And then I was taking a photo. I saw him and his dog. I was like, nice dog. Mm. That was the interaction we have. I don't know his name. I didn't really talk to him either. Um, he saw my post and he reached out to me and said, do you need some help? And I'm like, what do you mean? And then he's like, do you need some help with some money? And I was like, are you serious? Hmm. And then um, he said, yep, come down to the West Coast. Come stay with me for a few nights and get to know each other and see what I can do for you. He ended up borrowing me $10,000, mm. someone that I barely even met. Um, but to be like a calculator, I can make the 10 grand like easily, not easily, but you know what I mean? Like a yeah. calculator, yep. Uh, minimum thousand dollars a job, do 10 jobs, done. Here's the money back. Um, but what really put me into pressure was like, it's not the money actually. It was he believed in me. Yeah. He say, I saw you interact with people at the festival and um, I saw what you're doing on the internet. I know you do the same for other people when you're wealthy. And to answer the question, what happened after when I got my stuff stolen, it was just people started to help me. And in that moment, I'm like, wow, I, don't, I never really care about money. And in that moment, I'm like, what if I can do the same for other people? Mm. What, if I, what if I can give the $10,000 people? And I got deeper. I was like, instead of me giving away $10,000, why don't I teach them how to make $10,000? Mm. Okay, and then that got me thinking like, if I want to do that, I can't just work for myself anymore. Um, um, did that, did that kind of answer your question? Yeah. Can I yeah. continue? Like, so yeah, I'm just always, you know, I just think it's two things about that story that really impressed me is one is, uh, the instant acceptance of it, uh, instant acceptance, what acceptance of the fact that I'm like well, almost $20,000 worth of gear has been stolen. Like it's very unusual for people just to accept that instantly. Most people would have yeah. a full-on meltdown, <laughs> including myself, probably. Uh, I, I, yeah, but, I, I, sorry, I, I like, sorry, okay, I, I like to be honest, man. I, I, I'm reflecting, like, let you. It was that moment, and I reflected in that moment straight away. Yeah, and I'm like, I was so impressed with myself. Like, yeah. I'm not, again, I, I knew I was dumb for me to sit on the beach, yeah. but it was like. I couldn't believe it. Keep going. Yeah. Sorry, I, I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, keep going, please. I'm just excited, like. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just, yeah, keep going, no, sorry. You're passionate. I love it. I love enthusiasm. You can never <laughs> knock enthusiasm. Good quote, my dear. Yeah, but keep, keep going. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, and and then just the fact that, uh, I don't know, I didn't see the post, but you you got into action straight away. And, and people do respond. People want to help. And people respond really well to authenticity and also your energy, who you are, you know, and, and the, the, people want to support good things. Yeah. So it, and I think that's such a, it's such an example of just like, just like you just being yourself and, and being you and connecting with people and making people smile and taking photos and having genuine interactions with people like that shit matters. And people mm. generally that there's no monetary value in that. Right. Mm. But mm. 
this is a good example of like just do do that be yourself do do anything just be yourself and and mm. connect and put yourself out there and do that and when shit does go, like go in a way that you didn't expect call it negative whatever your shit gets stolen like that people people will be there for you like people mm. you help people you serve people when shit's not going going great like people will support you back you know so it's, yes it's just a cool example of that i think you know I, it happens a lot creative people sh their shit getting stolen and stuff and it, it's always amazing to me i see a hey, bad you know, thing happens to good people man yeah but it's like i just i like that people do really value people being creative and and making artwork and stuff and and they may not they may not say it to you on a daily on a daily basis of course they're not going of course they're not going to but when push comes to shove like they'll be there for you like that's mm. my experience of doing this kind of uh muso life and doing music and traveling around and stuff is that people people really want to support you yeah they really want to su they support me in, in interesting ways of like offering me a bed or offering me a meal or like yeah 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 same 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 yeah th these types of things but all of these gestures <sighs> have value and they enable me to, to keep doing what i'm doing and keep discovering mm. and, and keep and keep on being able to do what i love and that's such a such a gift but i think when people say people are on the fence you know let's just say there's there's someone that's working in an accounting job and they really love to paint but mm. they're like man i just i see all these people out there that are living their dream and i man i really want to be a painter but i just i I can have no idea how the heck mm. I would make that um, possible. Mm. You know, I've got to quit my job. Like my mum and dad are going to be like, they're going to have no idea what I'm doing. They're not going to trust me. All of this stuff. What are my friends going to think? All of these thoughts go on. And, and what tends to happen is that people just go, that is too hard. Like it's too hard for me to think about the logistics and all of that stuff. But what I would love to say to people is like, just, like you need to be so brave in that moment and so courageous and, and take a huge leap of faith and just be like, man, I don't know what the heck is going to happen here, but I've just got to trust that the universe, I'm going to work my ass off and universe mm. God or whatever is just going to have my back and my people in my community are going to have my back and they will because they respond yeah. to, to people that are putting themselves out there. Mm. And I just, I, I promise that you will be able to, you, you will be able to make it happen because people, these wonderful people out there in the, in the world will support you in really weird, unique ways it may not be millions of dollars, but it may be a, a roof when you're out, you know, at a, at a gallery and on the West coast, there's a roof there for you to stay in. There's someone that's going to give you a lift to the next mm. place. You'll meet someone that becomes your best friend, you know, and, and you stick at it long enough. It may take 10, 20, 30 years. I yep. think that's the thing that get that that I'm getting my head around is that I thought it was going to be like a three or four year thing, and then for I would what? have that for for my idea of success at the time, touring the world, lots of money, making albums, my own studio, and that I thought that would have happened by now, but it certainly hasn't. But I know it will happen at some point. But it's just a longer game. Like I'm really in this for like my life. Really, I, I love doing what I do, mm. um, but I'm I certainly haven't achieved what I what I'm setting out to achieve in terms of like my my own personal goals, you know. Um, but that's and, still one of the target, yeah. Yeah, totally. It's the thing. Don't lower the target. No, 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 no. Good. no good. Never. That's good. That's it's, good. It's, it's, yes. It's just one of those things that's like, I don't think people are quite prepared for the amount of time that it may take them. This yeah. idea of like you know, if someone could tell you, say this painter that's an account wants to be a painter, they're an accountant. If someone said, Hey, I've got this, I've got this magic wand, I can wave it. And I can tell you when you're going to be able to have that success you want. Say, for example, the success that this person is after is like financial freedom, their own studio, a, mm. a really receptive audience, you know, of mm. X amount of people that will, will purchase their artwork and, and to be able to travel and, and explore the world doing what you love. I think it's mm. a pretty like fair kind of dream for a lot of us, but it, that's going to take you 20 years. And in that 20 years, you're going to be 
really challenged and stretched in all sorts of different directions yeah. and you're going to want to give up constantly <laughs> yeah. and you're going to be crippled with doubt but if you stick at it have patience and just keep going and reach out to people in, in those times and ask for support don't and learn and grow and go through the mud you will get there mm. but the idea of that the, like it's just too it's too overwhelming for yeah for some people and i remember what that was like because i had that like i had that before i got into music i was, I was you had what I, I i went through i'm still going through all that stuff but the the first part of that the first year was super messy like i was what, studying what do you mean messy a, like uh yeah i need to be a bit more clear i was studying to no, be a prim, okay. i was studying to be a primary school teacher yeah and i was terrified of playing music People listening yes. to this podcast have probably heard me tell the story before, but I was terrified of playing music and I don't exaggerate yes. that. Like I was crippled with fear for often a week in advance before an open and mic night or whatever. And the idea of performing in public, because I'd, I'd experienced stage fright a couple of times growing up. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, I had that constantly in the back of my mind, that embarrassment and that humiliation and that fear and, you know, got went through all of the kind of the symptoms, shakes. Yes, um, yes, I'm with you. Uh, just anxiety at all depression it was it was it was challenging but just like showing up because I knew it was good for me I knew that I had to face it and just showing up and going through it going through the awkward gigs going through the open mic nights where no one was listening mm. going through all of the pub gigs going through the the awkward like bedroom concerts where everyone's sitting on the ground and I'm trying to like talk to them in between songs and it's just awkward yep. going through all yep. of that shit showing up yeah for for two three two three years of like yep. that and then and i still like i still have my like the modern day version of that you know like yep. two or three years down the line version of that sometimes but for the most part it's like i i now i trust i trust in the process more i still have funky days sometimes where i, I of course of course but yep I, it's a there's enough momentum behind it now where it's like there's no quitting because there's nothing to quit to. And I know there's like, I've understand the process of it a bit more. Like you'll have wins, you'll have doubts, you'll have um, times where it's not going to plan. Yes. And that it's like a cycle. It's like nature. It's just going to wave. It's going to, it's going to pass. And then a new, a new project is born. A new expression is born. A new yes. um, undertaking is born. And it's just, it just seems to be the way that it goes. And all yes. I really need to do is just get out of my way. Yes, and in the moments that I feel I feel doubt and I feel insecure, to to have the practices, the the physical practices, breathing, the um, yoga, go for a run, call my best friend, mm. uh, to get out of that funk, get change the thought that I'm having. I had it. This, it was either this morning or yesterday morning. Uh, it was last night. That's right. I this is a thing that happens to me all the time. I was reading mm. my book here. Here it is. I was watching this is my book i'm reading at the moment it's called the goldfinch it's a really nice book but it's it's a it's a heavy book and i was reading last night and i just noticed myself drifting off to my thoughts getting negative and i caught it i was like this needs to stop even though i'm relaxing and i'm, I'm enjoying my book my mind is going to negative places i started thinking about my career and all this stuff i literally got off got up off the mat and started doing something else i jumped on my computer just started making music just just do something different don't even entertain that even if you're doing something relaxing like reading a book if you're if you're starting to get into that spiral of negativity and doubt stop it <laughs> stop doing what you're doing and go do something different you know and these are the types of practices that that we need to um we need to implement on a daily basis when you when you put yourself out there and you're being courageous and you're, you're doing a a, a unpredictable job so to speak or your lifestyle is, is unpredictable you ne we need things that ground us back to our truth mm. and the reason why we're doing it because it, it's tough sometimes you know and oh, of course of course i'm with you yeah so hey just what i want to share with you something real quick like I, I i feel like man <laughs> it's a lot of i want to share but one thing i want to share for you um mm. just take it or leave it but like at the end of the day, bro, you're one song away. Mm. 
Oh, this is not me just saying it's a freaking quote, but be, really sink it in. You're one song away, okay? Your dream might take 20 years, but what if it takes two years? Mm. It is possible. The reason I said you're one song away, because all it takes is just that one, you're not, you don't need 10,000 view. Okay, you just need one person to be like, wow, I like that guy. Mm. Come on this tour with me. Yeah. And to do that, you need to get an audience, you need to get attention. So to speed that up quicker, you could either just do one tech video with a guitar, one song a week, or play a cover, one song a week, or do both, collaborate with people, do a cover. Don't chase off perfection, just collaborate with them. Because like, and, and do this podcast, just get attention. Because mm. like, there was this guy, um, uh, this guy, he, he say like, look at, Ke- look at Kevin Hart. Is Kevin Hart mm. getting funnier? Not really. Mm. Or maybe he is, but it's just more people know him. Yeah. So his value better. Look yeah. at Rock, is Rock getting better at acting? Mm. Maybe, but more people know him. So like you, you're, to be honest, I'm not trying to wank you off, but like I hear your music, yeah. bro. I hear your music. Your music is good. Um, dude, I've, I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm beating myself right now because I captured some moment. Oh, I'm just feeling like crap now, but I captured some moment. That moment of you like, you know, fixing the cable in that moment. Mm. Dude, I got that motherfuckers. But because I was selfish, I slept on the beach. I didn't get that. So <laughs> it was my selfish. fault. No, hang on. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. I, I know <laughs> what you're gonna say, but dude, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not trying. But, but dude, yeah. I just want to share with you, bro. Like, your dream can be possible in two years. Mm. You, 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 Oh, bro. Like, to to be honest, even man, like, um, I was saying to this to a few artists, I'd be like, like, actually, generally talented. It's like, dude, why don't you just create a show once a month where you only have hundred people, and each of them hundred because it's each of them a hundred people have to pay hundred dollars because it's such smaller, the value is higher. Mm. So hundred dollars time hundred dollars. What, what is that? $10,000 is $10,000. No, it is $10,000. Yeah. $10,000. So now you can use that money to invest into people that are doing music producing, but this is another topic, but I just want to yeah. share with you, man, just start sharing your guitar. Um, I feel like, man, like again, like I just want to show you, your your music is beautiful, dude. Of course, it can be better, and you mm. don't want to know that. Mm-hmm. But don't but don't let that hold you back mm. to not share that song. You might not like it, but someone might like it, and that's why I share my story because, dude, I'm not making a millions because part of me why I'm using social media now. I I'm doing for me so, I, but I want to encourage people. Don't get it all figured it out and then show it. Show the figure it out process. And that's why I do one tech video. Because yeah. later because yeah. later on, bro, later on, I'm gonna have the money. That's why maybe I'm even borrowing it. Mm. You know, I can always make more. That's why I'm gonna use it and pay them. But like, can you make this? Yeah. See that five minute content? Take the free out of that one minute, create content for me. Yeah. So I'm not wait, I'm not waiting. Cause I believe in my mission. I because I can't fail if I don't quit. Yeah. I can't fail if I don't quit. So I'm just going to keep going. So I'm just want to share with you that, bro, like you could, you're one song away. I mm. like that you're doing these podcasts. Just post a share, post a one content. Um, yeah, just, just you're, you're on the right path. But like, I believe that you can do more, mm. but don't let that hold you. Like your, your music is good. Seriously. I know people say this shit to you all the time, bro. But like, I know you can do better and I believe you can. But dude, start sharing some song, man. Start doing some one tech video. You don't need the perfect audio. You got the audio. You got the. I'm sure you have a mixer. Just pluck the guitar and just yeah. No, I've got twist all, the, it. all the tools. I got all the tools to do it. It's it's. Just That's why I want to do a one take video with you when I when I when I come. Yeah. It, it's not that I just want. I want to collaborate. No, it's not that I want to collaborate. But um, I sort of cut you off. But to to share with you that why I have a desire now to expand because like you say to me, I'm like a little angel. Like, mm-hmm. um, you know, people say it to me all the time, but, but one common thing I, I keep, like, I do, I, I realize that everything I'm doing, oh, there's a lot of things, but two things, um, is really, I, I've been doing it, but it's using my gift to help people to have their message and have their mission to be heard. Why do they want a video? So they can get the message to be heard. 
and I just realized that's why I'm doing everything. Mm. Um, second thing that I realized it, um, it was actually the mentor. He said to me like he saw the piano with stranger. You, know, you oh, I didn't yeah, realize yeah. you. I didn't realize your girlfriend captured that moment for me. She that was so special. Oh, you know the yeah, one that yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize she's the one to pick up the camera and pressed it. With M at Biophilia. Yes. When I asked you, dude, thank you to you. But like, <laughs> um, she, my, that meant that my, my teacher, uh, my mentor, I'm getting resistant to saying mentor. Um, I you back that off. Mentors are good. Like mentors are good. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Put I feel label. like, yeah, got I know. You've got I, a mentor. I, I, yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Just got insecure. But um, he said to me, man, he said, because I was so focusing on, something and then he yep. said like happy you know what you have to do my friend and i was like what you know i'll never forget this uh, this is gonna stick in my head but like you're here to remind people to laugh mm. and i'm like shit <laughs> um but um the reason i'm having this desire of like doing more now because i see the common two thing it's always going to be there um but people have an idea they don't know how to build an audience or maybe they know how to build an audience, but they will be like, Oh, it might take me 20, 10 or 20 years. Mm. But I feel like that's an idea has been sold from some people. Yes, it is true. But what if you can shorten the time? What if, if you can mm. shorten the time, then what is the how? And then like, and then the second thing is money. People want financial freedom. Um, I was one of them, and, but, but they hate money. You, you, you can't hate something that, that you want. Mm. That's a complex. Mm. So, and, and, and I said to myself, man, I'm good at, uh, it's not that I'm good. I'm not trying to pump people up because I guess I'm trying to pump myself up. <laughs> That's why I, I started to get good at because so many shit happened to me. Mm-hmm. I have to be positive. People say I'm positive, but I'm not always positive. I'm trying. Mm. And I said to myself, what if, I don't want to say what if, but I'm just saying that, but like, what if I can also pump, but also give them the strategy. Mm. And, that's part of when you at the start of this conversation, like what is my mission or this? Yeah, that's part of me now. It's like, if I can not just help you, but give you the tool to have your ID turn to reality, but also make money. Because, you know, I was doing all this video, you know, Gary Vee, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. So yeah. Gary Vee? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, he come across in my life and that's why I start posting out content. Mm. But dude, money was the issue. Mm. I wasn't making money. Like even though I do what I love, I still have to do a shitty job with this company that I'm not enjoy. Sometimes you gotta, you can't just do what you love. You gotta do whatever it take. Yeah. Um, but is it really necessary to do that for the next 20 years? Yeah. Um, but I'm going off topic now, but, um, no, 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 it's not, there's yeah. no going off topic or this, this is, this is how we oh, yeah, true. Yeah. But it's, it's dude, it's, it's, uh, cause I was super inspired by Gary Vee as well. And he, he was a big part of the reason why, um, <laughs> thoughts that led me to starting this podcast and to starting to share more because mm-hmm. I just saw, I saw like, there's so much, it was so, it's very, <laughs> there's a big hurdle that we all need to get over if we want to start being ourselves more online, right? Like it's, it's weird because for me, I started off just, just sharing probably 10%, not even that five percent of my life right and it's good I'm, that you uh sharing that it's yeah. good that you're honest about that oh dude i would just share you know the the highlights the clear the, the yeah. good things that i've done or like a you know a music video or a live performance or a video of me at home and and that's my job like i i i'm a musician and a songwriter like that's what people want to see but mm. as a human it's really weird because i'm like people are saying you've got like we, we want to see more stuff we want to see you sharing all this stuff and i'm like i don't like i've got i don't feel like i've got really anything to share because i like i've got all the stuff going on in my life but i can't share that i just felt so like trapped like i'm not free to express i don't feel fully expressed and it was just this this conflict going on in my in, in me so when, you know, I was super inspired by Gary Vee, you're just like, just be yourself, share that. It doesn't matter what you do. If you're a musician, mm. a plumber, you know, you make leather bags, like whatever it is, you're a ballet dancer, wh- whatever, like share it, share the process, what you're talking about, share the process of it, because we're so used to seeing 
the end result. Yeah, I know. And we don't think that the process is valuable, but the but the process is the most valuable part because because it connects us. I see I see your thought processes, I see your struggles, and when I see you struggling or dealing with something or in conflict or whatever, it connects me to you because I'm going through the same thing. Mm. That's why I think mm. I was actually thinking about something today. I was like, why does New Zealand have this big tall poppy thing? You hear about What's tall, tall poppy? poppy? Tall poppy syndrome. It's this weird thing where like as the layman's perspective of it, this is how I understand it, is when people have success that everyone around them want it is it's all of a sudden it's like, oh I don't like that person anymore. <laughs> it's super yeah. common in, in New Zealand when people get it's, that that success. I don't think it's that, I think it's everywhere. I think it's everywhere. Yeah. And I was like, well why why is that? And I think a big part of the reason is because the people when they get the success or maybe the, the road to success it's just sharing the highlights it's just sharing the wins and the wins become so unrelatable to the common people that it's just like i can't connect with that person anymore mm. so i don't want to i don't want to i used to be able to connect with them but now i can't and that's why i think for all of us whether you're very successful or you're just beginning or you're you're on the road like to share more of your journey. This is if you want to, if you want to connect with people, if you want to help people, if you want to serve people on like a, on a heart to heart level to share, to share more of the, share the losses, share where you're not feeling good, share your mm, challenges mm. as well as sharing the wins. Because I think if you, if you do that and you just be honest, you be genuine, you be transparent the whole way. Like people, you, you can't knock someone that's just sharing their, their, experience right it's just like this happened to me and like someone they might say whatever they're going to say but you can't you can't hate someone for giving it a try you know what i mean yeah i just think it, it, we can we can get disconnected when people start living the, the high life and the hot life mm. and, it's, and it's not they're not even within that there's going to be things that you're dealing with challenges that you're, mm. you're dealing with it's just pretending that your life is perfect i think the thing that irks people I feel dis- like they're not. Us. Yes, I. Sorry to cut you off. I'm just getting excited, but like I totally love what you say because I was going to say like I feel like sometimes it's not even the online problem they have. Yeah. It's also a real life problem they have. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm like it's to express. Yeah. Yeah, it's like how are you? I'm good. Like you're not good. Yeah. Yeah, man. And That's um. T- it's tough. <laughs> we're both like so excited no 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 because i totally understand but one thing i want to share about the success like um one thing i start to catch myself or oh, not now now used to mm. is like i saw maybe someone drive a nice car it's like oh fucking rich yeah see you know the word mm-hmm. and we're like mm. he must be not happy yeah and then i realized that it was that guy that taught me and i also realized that like dude why am i hating on something that i want and I wonder why you don't want it. Yeah. And I feel like now I understand more like when people are hating on you, they're not hating on you. They hate on themselves. They quit. Yeah. And um, they despise. And I get this as well. They loathe the thing that the aspect of yourself that is limiting you from achieving that level of success or, or attaining that, that particular item or whatever. It's like, man, I can't get that. I, mm. I hate that I can't get yeah. that thing. And so I'm going to project. But what if you can? Person. Yeah, totally. That's the conversation to have. That's and the thing it's like, you know, focus on. How can I, instead, how can I yeah. that? Instead of like having someone trigger you, it's like, wow, what if? Like I got mm. a message today, like from, I don't know, I want to read it, but because <laughs> I'm always so myself, it's like, oh, I got this dream. And then some people like, some people actually, I can feel that they, they, they like, they can't relate to me because mm. I'm thinking so big now. Yeah. Because also one thing I learned, if you're going to do something, do it big. Yeah. And it's like, it, it kind of gets you excited as well. Mm. Something to look forward to it, you know, get yeah. you excited. Oh, yes. And, um, and um, I, I, I'm going off topic, but I don't know if, if I, it's just, she, she was saying to me, like, I haven't talked to you for a while because I was triggered by you. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to be honest and open. Mm-hmm. Since last time when we met, I couldn't contact you. You have triggered something in me and for a period of time, I was, I don't know how to say this word, but I was confronted with my own shadow. Mm. Uh, my, like, and, then, and then she just say like, 
she's she just a mind like like when people see me like um oh, how can you live off with one 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 backpack and then they start to be insecure themselves or no i'm not saying this to you yeah. but like um but yeah and i, I totally understand and then he, he she actually responds back and then it's like hey um i start to understand now you actually mm. inspire me so like i just want to I, oh, this remind me to always be like i need to be genuine am mm. i doing this am i doing this for myself yeah and um one thing also that come up to me was the guy I was listening to, he say, sometimes we live in a culture that we like to say something so people can like us. Yeah. And then, um, and then um, we, we sometimes we get too scared to disagree on something. Yeah. Um, and that was a good reminder. And it's something that is like, it's not just an online problem. It's also like, um, like a people problem. Yeah. Like um, sometimes, because for me, I like to open my heart straight away, but sometimes that was a reminder was like, hey, am I opening my heart so I can get a reaction for them to open my heart? Yeah. And um, but yeah, it's a constant reminder as well. Yeah. Um, it's just a lot, lot of things changing, but now when I see a nice car, it's not that I need a nice car, but I was like, hey, good job, man. <laughs> yeah. And that's when I start to know like, Oh, that's why I started to, uh, like the guy that men, uh, he, so again, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, he's my mentor now, but um, he came into my life. So he like, um, you could label his life because he more than that, but some people pay him like $150,000 a year mm -hmm. um, to mentor him. And then he come into my life and then he say, um, I was doing some work and then he said to me like, um, hey, Cappy, I got, this program where I only mentor five people a year between the age of 18 to 30. And um, you're coachable. You've got a dream, you've got potential. We'd love to coach you. Um, and he said, well, like, it'll be $600 a month because you only make it affordable for the age gap because he usually charge $150,000. And then he said he only, yeah. And then in that moment, I'm like, like the first reaction was like, um, I don't know why I'm telling you this, now, this at the moment, but, um, but in that moment, I'm like, let's do it. Hmm. And it's ridiculous. I, I just thinking like, I never thought I would pay someone $600 a month. Hmm. But in that, my moment, because I start to learn all about thinking, hey, you can always make $600, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's money, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, we don't talk about that. Like, cause it's such a fear of like, oh, I lost 20 grand. Yeah. Hey, you lose a girlfriend. You can always get another one. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sucks. Maybe it's not the right time. You're not losing her forever. She's still there, bro. You don't have to be with her to make sure she's happy. Mm. And, and, but, but, and in that moment, I'm like, man, I'm investing so I can get close to this guy. Yeah. But uh, what I'm trying to, I guess what I'm trying to share was that was like, when I start to just change the concept of like, to not hate what I don't have, like hating money. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's like, stop hating money money is there to be used is yeah. people say that like, money's energy but like are you really believing that concept mm. i'm still learning to it yeah but like, i'm still learning to it but um i don't know why i'm sharing this now but well this no this is it this is this is your thoughts and process this is you learning and understanding like something a concept and like we're all around this age like we're all so similar in that sense that we all grew up with an idea of what we think money is and we all experienced our parents in relation to money and their, their parents yeah. and their stresses. And, and we all engaged in a certain type of conversation. I think a lot of us are learning that like that conversation may not necessarily be serving us in this new world. So I don't think it ever has been. Yeah. Yeah. You, ex exactly. I think a lot I, of us I, I feel like it anyway. So, okay, but I feel like, cause I, maybe you need to listen to this guy because I only listen to him now, but it, it's just like, you know, your parents, maybe some parents be like, Hey, eat, eat all your food. Mm. Someone have it worse than you. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like we're always because of that mentality. We sometimes we're trying to make sense of a failure. Mm. That maybe I'll lose job. When I say job, maybe I'll lose like a, a $3,000 wedding deal. Yeah. Or maybe like a thousand. And then I'd be like, Oh, she was a bitch anyway. Yeah justify it and like, yeah and then, and then i just trying to make sense i like, do you shouldn't lose the deal hmm. and it's just like um 
like was that something that more you can do mm. than just being like yeah but i'm grateful you shouldn't like maybe like, maybe i'll go bankrupt oh but i'm grateful got my health you shouldn't go bankrupt bro <laughs> you, you shouldn't go bankrupt like and then i feel like because such a such that positive thinking of me um because I, I this is like and then i catch myself like a few months ago like wow like sometimes i was just trying to make sense like um trying to make sense out of my situation yeah 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 it's dude it's a it's such a funny I, this is why i just love these conversations because it, it's just like we're figuring things out you know what i mean and it's just an opportunity mm. for people to listen to someone else sorry we're not figuring things out we're discovering <laughs> we're discovering. you can say that you can say that yeah you can say well that. We're, we're discovering figuring things out we're, we're trying to we're trying to better ourselves right we're trying to better our situation we're trying to learn we're trying to grow and that process naturally is is um challenging and it's a little it's so uh non-linear you know it's like all over the place and i think we're all going through that but it's a it's a tough thing to articulate and it's particularly a tough thing to articulate through um, whether it's face to face or whether it's via a message or a phone call, it can be tough. But mm. I think there's something really unique about listening to someone in a long format like this, like an hour and a half. Just listen to someone talking, <laughs> listen to their process, <laughs> listen to their story, listen to what they're saying, and to to not be involved in it directly. You can listen to it objectively and just learn little lessons, learn from our our struggles, learn from our. Yep challenges learn from our processes so i think it's just it's just cool to, to chat and just be honest with where you're at right now you and i will probably yeah. chat in a year from now and have a completely different conversation but it'll oh, still dude, be man, we check from the we check in a few place. week well, we we'll check week. it no we we'll check in a week it'll, it'll, it'll be me like asking you question okay yeah yeah it'll be me asking you question let's do it let's do let's do another one That's so on. yeah i didn't realize we had gone for that long bro time goes so quick when you when you dive deep when you do what you believe in love. Bro, we're out of time, by the way. Thank you so much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure to chat to you. Sounds good. I will chat ask, I will, I will share your story next time, okay? All right, bro. Choice, bro. We are done. Let me just, uh, let me just push pause here for a second on that. Bro, wow. We how was there. that? What do you mean, how was that? I just love chatting <laughs> with you, bro. Hey, dude, but seriously, man, like part oh, of dude, my... One thing, sorry to interrupt, but one thing I want to ask is, is your coach's name James? No. Yes. It is. James Cameron. Yes, James Cameron. <laughs> I knew it was. I knew it. So James no, 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 was... no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. James, James say he know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I worked James with say he James. Knows you. I worked with James for like eight months. How was that? It was awesome. And why did you stop? James uh we had we had quite a unique um working arrangement we're like yeah i'm just gonna stop put, put it out there put it out there.